Astrology, numerology, alchemy, and of course, Angelo Solomon. Okay, is the Solomon Angelo Cole a fiction, a science fiction rather? Yeah, he's a fiction, it's not science fiction because it's not speculative. Okay, okay. His three lies is mystery and uh, alternative history. Wow. You talked about the law of probability. Uh, a topic I want to help you with is that you talked about the law of probability and how um, the, it determines the arrows on the wing. That is point. How does that work? Uh, I think you, uh, you're talking about, uh, well, uh, I think that you, you, you have to know, you know how the ring works. Mm -hmm. So the Marangelo, he had this uh, uh, spinner ring. He called it a prophetic ring. Now, when you give it a spin, there are these, uh, the center race will rattle off, revolve for a time, and then when it comes to rest, you have this arrow head, one pointed at uh, one of the astrological symbols engraved okay. around the, one of the uh, ring, ring leaf. Okay. Then another arrow. You have to point to any of the alchemical symbols okay. on the other side of the ring. Then how you take a reading with the ring is that you pick these two, uh, let's say we got Venus okay. from astrology, astrology and then uh, oxygen from the alchemical side of it. Okay. What do you do? Open this part uh, manual this book of manual, you open it and check those symbol combinations under the time of day. Let's say it's midday. You check Venus and oxygen under midday. Then you use your, there's a planet sphere, still in the Sumerian set. You use this planet sphere, it's, a, it's an holding the uh, GPS. Okay to determine your exact uh, position okay. on the surface of the earth. Okay. Yeah, when you, when you now match this, uh, your results from the symbol and time of day okay. against your position on the earth's surface, okay. the catalog will direct a particular page and paragraph within the manual. So I will now open to maybe page 1020, uh, the second paragraph. Whatever I see there is considered to be uh, as well. Okay. Uh, uh, pardon me, my master. Uh, you know, would you tell me show something to practice? Because I'm a bit confused. Is there anything you can use to practice more to show that this is really a reality? For that particular arrow to point the black thing, then we can practice. Because, uh, uh, yeah, that's the challenge. The question of uh, what is. Okay. Because uh, 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 if you've uh, studied uh, astrology and uh, most people who have really looked into it, uh, believe uh, you can actually see into the future using those two things. But the, in terms of the ring, the question is now uh, what if the operator of this ring had to spin it a little bit too much or uh, a little bit uh, less than necessary? Do that kind of thing. But that's not really an issue. That's redundant because uh, the law of uh, probability takes care of that. Okay. Yes. Once it, okay, I can demonstrate something for you using this term. On law of probability. I have this uh, Can you give me one to four? Which one? Okay. 
K represents one. Okay. We have two, three, and four. And now, okay. Two families of cards here. As you can observe, uh, these cards are fair enough because they are of the same shape, the same size, <laughs> right? Yes. The same thickness, okay. the same weight, okay. yeah. and uh, they are dry. Okay. okay. Now, what if I arrange this card in such a way that I have a every uh, family represented by nice. arranging it with number instead of categorizing it by family all the A's here, yeah? all the twos here yeah? yes. yeah. all the twins here yeah? ah. Okay, what is this? I have a, 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 a we want to a, a kind of relate this to the ring. As long as we have a perfect craftsmanship of the ring, and we also have a well uh, charted. Uh, manual, okay. astrological manual. You don't have to worry about what if. Okay. For example, the law of probability says that when you have cards like this, when you have many cards like this, categorized by a number, if I want to get them back to this uh, family category, okay. I either to pick them up manually, okay. or I take advantage of the law of probability, which says that I shuffle them ten times. I shuffle the whole thing up ten times and then redistribute okay. systematically. Okay. Yes. You want to see it? I want to see that. Okay, I fold it up. Okay. 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 Draw from below. Okay. In such a way that I'm giving each of the cards equal opportunity to be taken. Okay. That equal chances of the whole thing being removed, being drawn out. Okay. And yet, uh, each of my shuffle, and each of my shuffle, it's not really all of them that will be coming out. You know, something like, okay, help me and count. Okay. This one. I'll call you back. Two. Three. Five, six. Okay. Then I have to read this to do it systematically. Okay. One here, one there. Yeah. Okay. I'll repeat the process. I feel like yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Repeat. I don't know how I don't know how I don't know how I don't in the course of shuffling. Just shuffle okay. ten times and just you just have to observe the rule. Okay. You understand? The human limitation, the only human limitation is if I have some of the cards longer or shorter than the other. Okay. Here we have a five card and the law of probability say shuffle ten times. Shuffle ten times, redistribute systematically and you be looking good. Okay. Really. You want to try it? I really want to try it because I still don't believe it. Okay. Just like a ring, I told that as long as you have a perfect craftsmanship okay. of the ring okay. and you have a, a, a well charted uh, astrological manual, okay. then you don't have, you just have to give it a spin. Okay. So, should you I to go on and try it? Okay, pull this, pull this off. Leave it there, hold it up. 
Just, just fold it up. Okay. Just fold it up. Yes. Fold this up. Okay. Fold this up. Okay. Yeah. Fold this on top. And now this is how you shuffle. Let me show you. By giving every card a chance to be drawn, I mean that you don't have to pick. You don't have to pick it out. You don't have to, you don't have to pinch it out. You have the kind of this finger to be perpendicular to the car, to the start of the car, this finger, then, yeah, make sure it's covering the other, then, yeah, don't hold it too tight, then draw out, some of them will come out from below, good, one, that's one, yeah. I have to do ten times. Two, and count it. Okay. Three, don't pinch it out, okay, from below, four. Five. Mm. Six. <laughs> Seven. Seven. That looks like a pinch. Okay. Eight. Okay. Nine. Ten. Okay, let's see. I'll score you 80%. Really? For yourself then. No. Put one here. One here. One here. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's kind of yeah, you were pinching that. Mm. Maybe your partner should try it because this, <laughs> this is really something I need to do and try it. Anybody can do it. Just have to observe it. Just relax and shuffle your car. Yeah. Should I start? Pull this off. Okay. Pull this off. Pull this off. Pull this off. Okay. Shuffle like Yeah, from below. Okay. From below. Okay. Given each hand. Before opportunity. opportunity to be drawn, but from below, one, just bring that, even if it's only one card. Okay. Oh my. One, four, three, two. Oh. It's perfect. I got the carrot. <laughs>